we still have no idea what the hell is going on with our supply chain. We have no idea what's going on with the supply chain. It's still a crisis. But our transportation secretary is out on paternity leave. Now, I'm going to say some things today that are going to, these are opinions that are probably not going to be popular. And I'm not going to apologize for them because I am, I, I believe in diversity of thought. I believe absolutely in diversity of thought. However, I will say this. I think this whole idea of paternity leave, and you can get mad at me if you want to, is silly. I think it's silly. Get mad. I know some people will, and I'm going to get hate mail. I really don't care. I'll read it on Friday. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm just I, I look at it like this. I think it's fantastic that there are two living beings here in the world. Yay, yay, yay. I'm not going to spend a, an inordinate amount of time on this, on that aspect of it. I think it's great. But here's the thing. There's, this is being used twofold. It's being used to argue for mandated paternity leave now and also to deflect from the supply chain crisis. That's really the issue at hand here is the supply chain crisis. But I just, um, I, I just think it's, it's kind of funny that he's been gone for how long? Over a month. And nobody noticed? So what the hell is his job for? Get rid of his job then. If you're gone for over a month and no one notices, maybe we don't need your position. Maybe we don't really need your position then. If you're gone for that long, especially during a time of a crisis. I have a friend who lives in Los Angeles who was sending photos just over the weekend of all of the ships that were that were just waiting, waiting for, for to come into dock. And it was pretty crazy looking. And so this whole crisis, it, it would, you know, this is something that, hmm, I just think maybe we should have more attention on that. And I really wish that we had a, if we're going to have a transportation secretary, then maybe they should be so effective that we can't imagine them not in their position as opposed to we didn't re even realize that he wasn't there. But this whole paternity leave that he's, be, what did he posted a picture of himself swinging or something like that? Isn't that what he did? Oh, something like that over the weekend. I just think it's silly. I think it's silly because, and I say this as someone who's had children, there's a reason why women who get, there's a reason why women get maternity leave. It's not a sexist argument. It's one of, it's one of actual anatomy and physiology. Women's bodies have to recover. I mean, our uteruses, our uteri, I guess that's a plural, have to recoil backwards, okay? It has to kind of cinch up. We are crazy hormonally, and I, I don't, we're, we're all over the place hormonally. There are people going to be out there who are like, it's not crazy, shut up, quit being so damn literal. I hate society. You can't say anything in society because stupid people want to interpret everything literally. We live in the Amelia Bedelia era. This is that that's we're going to look back on this as that period of time. But there's a reason hormones have to stabilize. Men don't need the same thing. Men should care for the mama while mamas care for the babies. That's how I look at it. But I think it's silly to have paternity leave. I just I, now if an employer wants to offer it of their own free will, fine, they can do whatever they want to. But I also think that when you when you are desperately wanting and thirsting for and making everyone aware that you're thirsting for it, when you are desperately wanting a public taxpayer funded position like transportation secretary and you accept a a publicly funded transportation secretary job, you get you have to give up little luxuries like paternity leave. Did you squeeze the baby from your male copulatory organ? You didn't. OK, get your ass back to work. Go back to work. It's kind of how, that's how that is. This is the job that you signed up for. And we're in the middle of a supply chain crisis. We, you should have, you should have, maybe fit, you should have probably, maybe focused on your work and let your stay, your spouse focus on the babies. But you signed up for a taxpayer funded position. And when you sign up for this taxpayer funded position like transportation secretary, there are just certain little bitty luxuries that you must forego. And if you dislike that, then by all means, no one is stopping you from giving up your position.